going on guys now here again uh it's kind of unexpected what happened here unfortunately my girlfriend's car did break down while she was at work luckily you know luckily she wasn't on the road uh basically radiator hose broke off maybe you guys can see that she, boom she came off so i was literally watching spider-man movie she called me you know and I, obviously after the movie i came to check it out finds out he's a radiator uh, it's just kind of wear and tear the um i'll show you guys later when i take it off the uh connector for the upper radiator hose it's brown so basically the plastic was brittle so that was done for so this is just gonna be a quick time lapse guys unfortunately i won't be able to show you everything just because it's just it's getting dark and i have work tomorrow and she, uh, she has stuff to do tomorrow so i'm gonna try to get this done pretty fast guys all right so hopefully you guys enjoy the time lapse don't forget to like subscribe all right let's get to it so hey guys one more thing before we get back to the time lapse so as I'm, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm jacking up the car for right now, and uh, there's someone else with me. It's my little brother. Basically wanted to learn. He says he'd be interested in entering this field. So I was like, all right, I'll bring him, bring him along, kind of show him the basics as far as this stuff goes. He ba he just handed me tools, took off some uh, nuts and bolts, but it was a, it was nice having somebody there. So yeah, hope you guys like the time lapse.
Unfortunately, I didn't realize that having that uh, radiator support right there would block most of the image guys So I'm really sorry about that. But at this point I we took that off We had like a very good view of the radiator what we needed to take off um, The next thing uh, we took out the new one and we kind of we basically started to compare it make sure everything looked good in that we removed the rubber mounts on top of the radiator from the old one and from there we basically just disconnected the electric fans two connectors and these ones all had clips uh, that hold on to it. There's no bolts or anything. And as far as the condenser, it attaches to the front of the radiator and it's just four mounting bolts. And then from there, you just kind of got, obviously you disconnect your lower radiator hose, you know, drain all your cooling, try not to make a mess. But from there, I mean, it was, it was a pretty simple job, guys. Uh, you don't really need a lot of tools. Uh, what was, I think it was like 10, 12, 14 and pliers. And I believe, what else? I think that was it. Now, yeah, just those things and then just kind of like a little uh, screwdriver just if you need to like, uh, I need to help pry out the the, uh, the wiring harness that's around there just because it does have some clips around it. But yeah, guys, I'm really sorry. I didn't realize this would actually ruin the whole video. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a brief idea of what we're doing. And as far as right here goes, we're under the car at this point and we're just, um, we're, it has like a, a splash shield at the bottom. So I'm having right there with my little brother having to remove it it was just a couple of 10 bolts that have access to the bottom to remove the lower radiator hose but yeah guys that's pretty much it so i'm just gonna skip to the end so i'm just unfortunately just because due to that being right there in my way it just kind of uh, sucked that um i didn't realize it to the end so i really do apologize guys also uh one more thing guys so while this video is being uploaded and stuff i think the next so it's gonna get uploaded today monday so by tuesday i should start recording me just removing the cylinder head for the civic so I can take that to the machine shop, get that all done, get that compression issue out the way and kind of can go on from there. So please stay tuned, guys. And, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe and, you know, stay tuned for more content. All right, guys. All right, guys, we're pretty much done. Um, I had to skip to the end. It was just getting late. My phone was dying, too. Got the new radiator in, just bleeding out the system. Have the heater on, letting this thing get up the temp. And that's it. Uh, I do have other concerns for the car. There is like signs of coolant leak crystallization around the thermostat housing. So we'll address that later. But as of right now, there's no coolant leak so far. So we're good to go. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's kind of like something that happened last minute, but we got to take care of. It's pretty good. So yeah, guys, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and give it more to come, guys. All right. Peace. Uh.